disturbing case of animal abuse, and we do want to warn you what you're about to hear and see may be graphic. A dog is on the road to recovery, though, after it was found with a chain right through the back of its neck instead of wearing a collar. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel standing by live at Oakland Veterinarian Services, where there's already been one surgery to save that little dog's life. Brian? Yeah, Stephen, take a look at what I have here. Here is the part of the chain, and here is the hook that appeared to be pierced through Courage's neck, and it, I can tell you, smells like roadkill, and the doctors here believe that it was likely inside that skin for at least weeks. He came in hooked to a tow chain and a carabiner through the throat. This is Courage, a Rottweiler Shepherd mix who is now preparing for his second surgery after the first removed the rusted and skin riddled carabiner that was stuck in the dog's throat skin. Right. Dead weight right on his skin, uh, right where there's several veins, arteries, 15 pounds of dead weight. I mean, the carabiner alone weighs almost a pound. This is something you would tow your snowmobile, tow your motorcycle, tow your dirt bike with. Police are now investigating how this happened before someone brought courage to Detroit Animal Control. He will be okay, but the vibrant pup is also heartworm positive. His bills likely to hit $10,000. He was suffering, and I've been doing this for 10 years, over 10 years. This looks like something you see out of a horror movie. This looks like a nightmare. To see a dog carrying a tow chain through the throat, I mean, that's pretty horrific. Yes, it is, but I can tell you that after spending some time with Courage today, his energy is absolutely incredible, given what he's gone through over the last 24 hours, including that first surgery. Stephen? Yeah, Brian, question for you. Uh, what's next for Courage? Anybody adopt him? Well, first is a second surgery that's going to come in the next couple of days because doctors during that first surgery had to remove a lot of skin. So they're going to try to replace that skin with a second surgery. And then there needs to be a foster home where Courage can go and recover. And then after that comes the adoption. Now, uh, I can give you an update that we just learned just a few moments ago that Kathy Bissell with the Bissell Foundation is actually coming forward and will cover the cost, oh. all, all the cost medically that is included in this under one condition, that any donations that have come for Courage or continue to come for Courage are used to prosecute whoever did this. Yeah, they Reporting like to live, get, Brian Abel, 7 yeah, Action News. Got to catch that guy, Brian, for sure. Thank you so much for the report. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So glad he's getting that care, though, right?